Hey Leute und herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge von The Conceal. Wir werden jetzt gleich in den Speiseraum gehen, nämlich da soll Gudoy sein und den müssen wir immer noch überzeugen und ich habe keine Ahnung, wie ich das anstellen soll oder ob es die richtige Entscheidung ist, Mortimer ähm, in irgendeiner Weise zu unterstützen, wobei unsere Mutter, glaube ich, uns davor gewarnt hat. Schaut euch das an. Wie wunderschön. Er spielt. Nicht. Duke Manuel? Well, well. Monsieur de Richet, I was not expecting you. I am not in the mood, sir. I warn you. What do you want from me, sir? I see you're still feeling under pressure. Since your arrival, I've noticed that you've been on the defensive. Huh. It seems to me that Monsieur Peru has a knack for getting your back up. That is the least you can say. Indeed. I was warned. I knew what to expect. For God's sake, why in the hell did your people execute their king? Have the French gone stark, raving mad? There are nothing but monarchies in power in Europe. They will all come crashing down on you. We shall see. It might well turn out to be the opposite. <laughs> you certainly do not lack for audacity, young man. Just tell me one thing, monsieur. Why did you side with Mortimer? He is alone, isolated. The United States can do nothing to help you, and France is surrounded by over ten countries just waiting for the word to pounce. Really, I do not see why you choose Mortimer. Oh, ich darf nicht politisch kommen. Gudoy ist gegen äh, Politik immun. Ich darf nicht mit... Ich nehme das mal. Oh, it's really quite simple, you know. Whose place are we at? Who can manage to bring together so many influential figures under the same roof? Technically, Sir Gregory brought more guests than Mortimer. Yes, but in whose name? Who organized the party, Senor Godoy? Who pays the bills? And you are forgetting something fundamental. Who has the biggest army nowadays? Uh, yes, 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 yes. There's no shame in admitting that France is militarily superior to you. That's why you're considering joining forces with other European countries in order to confront us. I agree that Mortimer does have some powerful assets. Tell me, do you really believe Spain has any interest in ceding Louisiana to France? Ich weiß ja nicht, wegen, äh, gegen was er noch, ähm Oh, ich muss mal kurz... Auf jeden Fall darf ich nichts mit England sagen. Ähm... Ich mach mal das, mir bleibt, mir bleibt nichts anderes übrig. First of all, the question is to know what Louisiana can be used for. We agree that today all it brings you is death. Every day a few more Spaniards die far from their birthplace. I cannot deny that Louisiana is a veritable quagmire. You have a point there. Tell me one last thing. What would I gain from all this? Ich 
Ich mach mal die Ablenkung. Das ist ja politisch, glaube ich. Ich mache mal die Ablenkung. If you continue with home, our two countries will become rivals. We could turn into war. Who knows? It is likely even. A war, Duke Manuel. On our own territories. Do you really see yourself committing the Kingdom of Spain to an armed conflict against France? Can you imagine the financial investment required, not to mention the loss of lives and dishonor at the slightest defeat? Do you see yourself being the man responsible for that? No, but you are the one who's pushing me into it, you damned Frenchman! I'm not pushing you into anything, Duke Manuel. If you are a man of the future and of progress, as I'm given to believe, you will know how much suffering a war would bring. Come on, you fool, give it up. You're trapped like a rat. Monsieur, I am astounded. I did not think you capable, but you have succeeded. I will be more wary of you the next time. Nonetheless, if you can guarantee Lord Mortimer's support, then yes, you can count on my vote when the time comes. However, I expect you to be discreet with regard to my former partners, without which our agreement will become null and void. Of course, my Lord Duke. You can count on me. Lord Mortimer will be delighted to hear the news. I hope you know what you are getting into, Louis. I bid you good luck. Good night, my Lord Duke. See you tomorrow. Well, that's one thing out of the way. The only thing left to do is wait for the conference to resume tomorrow morning. Scheiße, Leute. <laughs> ich hab keine Ahnung, was ich hier mache. Vielleicht können wir ja noch irgendwie einen Krieg verhindern. Aber ich glaube eh, dass ich wirklich hier so einiges falsch mache. Er klopft immer noch. Das äh, werde ich dann nochmal umgehen. Und ich soll ins Bett, soll ich nicht Bericht erstatten? Da steht da oben als CG ins Bett. Das werde ich jetzt auch tun. In der Hoffnung, dass wir das Richtige machen. Und vielleicht gehe ich über Piacis Zimmer dann in mein Zimmer. So kann man Leuten auch ziemlich gut aus dem Weg gehen, ne? Bei in so ein Haus verstecken spielen, das möchte ich auch mal ziemlich gerne. Ich möchte aber die Person sein, die gesucht wird. Verdammt, ich komme da nicht rein. Schnell rein! Good evening, Hello. Monsieur le Français. Duchess! You're here. What a charming surprise. I'm beginning to think you can't be without me. You have managed to penetrate my armor, sir. Am I disturbing you, perhaps? ins Bett, Louis. Das ist nicht die richtige Zeit. Ich will aber wissen, warum sie hier ist. Ich war mal auf kein... That's not what I said. Ah, by the way, you surprised me during the conference. Why is that? Well, you are going to lose. Why stay with Lord Mortimer? I believe he has every chance of winning. My, you are a rash one. However, if ever you want to change sides, please feel free to let me know. But tell me, you didn't come here to try and make me change my mind, did you? That's the last thing on my mind. Although you would have everything to gain by it. Do you 
perhaps know something that I don't? Come on, Emily. It's time you lay your cards on the table. Sie weiß etwas über Louisiana, sie weiß etwas über Mortimer. Mortimer. Was nehmen wir? Wie sie da versucht weiterzureden. Aber es dreht sich ja um das Land. If you have a good reason for Spain to keep Louisiana, I'm all ears. Louis, I can assure you on good authority that the Crown will never let France take over Louisiana without taking firm action. Your country has everything to lose, especially now, it being weakened as it is on the home front. In other words, you believe the aim is to weaken France? Just an observation, Louis. Louis, if you trust me, you ought to ask yourself why I have chosen home. You do trust me, don't you? Mich nervt es so ein bisschen, dass ich keine Punkte mehr habe. Of course, Emily. Admit though that it does make you think. There's still time, you know. Join us before it's too late. Oh. Ich weiß es nicht. Ich weiß es nicht, wo ich bleiben soll. Gut, gehen wir mal alles. Ich überleg mal kurz. Ähm Aber warum ist unsere Mutter hier verschwunden? Ich habe gerade den Spanier überredet. Verdammt! Ich habe keine Ahnung, was ich nehmen soll. Unfortunately, my word is my bond. I don't want to leave Lord Mortimer in the lurch. Very well, as you wish. It's up to you to decide. Tell me, are these visits to Mortimer's always so intense? Yes and no. My sister doesn't normally disappear like she has. Any news of your mother? Um, what is it then? I haven't had a minute to myself, what with the disappearance of Elizabeth and then the conference. Yes, I hope to continue my investigation tomorrow. Do you have any leads? No, not really. That's the problem. Too bad. Can we change subject, please? I didn't come here to go through all that again. Of course, it's late. You're right. Zum Henker. Komm, Louis. Ich bin auf jeden Fall ins Bett gegangen. My friends, do not worry. I assure you that Lord Mortimer's plan will never see the light of day. I shall deal with informing our allies 
But for the time being, I need you to make a stand. What do you think about Monsieur de Richet? I don't know yet. I feel there's great potential in him. He looks like he can be trusted. And uh, Duchess Hillsborough. Why isn't she here? She's busy. Don't worry about her. Oh, isn't it time to replace her? Not so fast, sir. She is an important figure. You ought to have a little more faith in her. What are we going to do about Washington? He will be a hard nut to crack. On our chessboard, he is Mortimer's king. Don't worry. Mr. President only wants one thing. To keep his dear America united. He won't jeopardize everything he has achieved on a whim. He has been serving Mortimer for quite some time. It won't be easy to uh, bring him around. Do you feel all right, Mr. Godoy? You haven't said a word. Please excuse me, gentlemen. I feel tired. Oh, I see. I think it is high time you left us then. Now! Was? Weiter schlafen, genau. Das ist das Richtige. Einfach weiter pennen. E Emily? Emily? Are you there? Sir, the conference is about to begin. You are expected in the conference room. Tell them I'm coming. Thank you. Come on, Louis. The game is back on. Ich weiß aber trotzdem nicht. My friends, the conference is about to begin. Please excuse me if I troubled you last night with my project. I understand that you might well have a few questions to ask. As you know, the final vote will be cast in a few days. This morning's aim is to answer your questions and check the temperature of your respective positions so that we may reach a greater understanding. As always, Lord Mortimer. Uh, we parted in perfect disagreement, my lord. Where would you like us to take it from? Come, sir. Please let William believe he still has a chance of winning us over. Otherwise, his imprecations will lack panache, and we shall be bored stiff. Oh, let me assure you, I am convinced that a good night's sleep has brought sound advice, and that this morning will be even more interesting. Therefore, I would like to go around the table in order to hear everyone's first impressions. Well, I am still firmly against it. Even though my choice won't count. Against. 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 And you, Luke Manuel? Well, you see, uh, it is more complicated than it... it uh... Good boy. Calm, Gregory. Don't try to impress my guests, please. They are not your guests. Gregory, anyone under my roof is, by definition, my guest. You included. I would be very grateful if you would let my guests speak. Duke Manuel, you were saying you still had some doubts? Well, you see, the situation has changed since last night. What's going on here, my Lord Duke? You see, I gave it some thought during the night. New arguments have come to light. What do you mean, Duke Manuel? Sir Gregory, I regret to inform you that Spain will not support you in this operation. I vote for. Moreover, in response to arguments brought to my attention, I declare war on France! What? What is he doing? If you think France hmm? is afraid of you, you are dreaming. Over ten nations rise against you, young man, and you behave like a yapping little dog. When the French armies are at your door, my Lord Duke, you will change your tune. Well, as for me, I am for Lord Mortimer's project. Despite Duchesse Hillsborough's overwhelmingly convincing nocturnal attentions. What? So Emily was playing at trying to win over guests last night? It was nothing more than a friendly little chat, of course. How could it be otherwise? And by the way, remember me to your husband when you see him. And you, President Washington, 
What is your position? Four, of course. Well, that leaves just yourself and Monsieur Peru, Louis. You're all making me sick. Look at yourselves. What? You are pathetic! Have you been drinking or what? There you are, quibbling away. My lord do this, and Madame do just that. You know very well that we're nothing but puppets on a damn string. Jacques, Camille! Let's end the charade. It's over! Jacques. My lord, thank you for everything you've done for me over the years. But it didn't come for free. And now I see the price is too high to pay. I'll stop. Come, Jacques. We'll talk it over. No, I'm finished. I want my freedom back, my lord. I shall no longer work for you. Eingreifen, natürlich. Wait. Derisse, you just can't help it, can you? Stop trying to play the hero, man. Okay, um, Peru. Psychologie und Befragung. Psychologie war das, ne? Nein, das war Peru. Peru. Psychologie. Monsieur, I know I don't really know you, but you seem like a decent person. I have done so many horrible things. You blame yourself, I can see that. Everything's not lost. I don't want to do bad things anymore. You can take control of yourself again. You can fix whatever it is you've done. Do you really believe that? Of course, Jacques. You'll have all the time you need. Oh, ha. Um. Oha, ähm. I'm sure we can work things out. But you don't know him. Let's stay united, Jack. He's nothing without us. Really? Trust me. Ich mach mal Etikette. Ich muss immer wieder gucken, aber das ist ja... Waffe entwenden machen wir nicht. Er ist viel zu stark. Dafür. This is not who you are. You're better than that. You don't know me. Yes, I do. I know you're no coward, so give me your weapon, please. But I... There's nothing to fear. I'm right here. I don't want him to talk to me. Don't worry. You're safe now, Jack. Monsieur Peru, you could have seriously hurt someone if Monsieur de Richet here hadn't stopped you. Your behavior is unacceptable. You would do better to go and rest in your apartment. My friends, we shall continue the conference later. I would like to apologize for the inexcusable behavior of my guest. You all need to recover from all of this excitement. Take the rest of the day off. Oh, Gott sei Dank. Huh. Himmel, Asch und Wolkenbruch. Wir haben ihn irgendwie davon überzeugt, der Mann, der uns eigentlich hasst. Ja, 
Ja, okay, wir haben sie nicht überzeugt. Oh, wir haben die dritte Episode. Kann das sein? Oder auch nicht. Ähm, gut. Die Punkte verteilen wir... Keine Ahnung, wie. Ich mache... Gelesenheit, da haben wir die nächste Stufe. Und ich glaube, ich mache die Logik. Da haben wir die dritte Episode. Ich glaube noch nicht. Okay. I don't understand. I spoke to him only recently. Monsieur Perrault has lost his mind. It's obvious. Yet another way for the French to make a spectacle of themselves. Well, once again it has worked. My friends, let us settle down, please. We are all in shock, of course. Let us celebrate Louis' courage. He enabled us to avert a tragedy. Yes, that was very noble of you, Louis. You have given us all a fine lesson in courage. I... thank you. He owes you his life. That's quite something. That madman deserves to die. We are providing Monsieur Peru with care, but rest assured, he is no longer a danger to himself or anyone else. I think everyone needs a little rest. Can you stay a moment? Of course. Ach du meine Güte, ähm... Logik wollte ich machen, ne? Ich weiß es gerade gar nicht. Machen wir das mal und... Gewandtheit würde ich mal gerne ein bisschen machen. Okay, dann hätten wir das. Aber ihr Lieben, ich würde sagen, ich werde hier wieder einen kleinen Cut machen. Ich bedanke mich fürs Zusehen und bis zur nächsten Folge. Ciao, ciao.